T-Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Hey, I think many of us don't like the fact the sun is setting early, but that does mean we can show you a gorgeous sunset here on KIMT News 3 at 4. It is nice, I will admit. I've been enjoying getting to show these beautiful colors here, especially because we've had a lot of sunshine here the last couple days. So here's a couple live eyes. We're talking Albert Lee, Rochester, Charles City, showing off those beautiful colors. And in the case of Albert Lee, showing off the sun itself, about halfway set now beyond the horizon. Absolutely gorgeous. It is a little cooler though, as temperatures continue to drop getting closer and closer to that 40 degree mark, but we all knew that was going to happen. These temperatures are more normal for this time of the year than say the 60s we've been having these last couple days, but it is significantly different. 20 degrees different in Rochester from where we were just 24 hours ago. So sitting at that 42 degree mark, it's a 19 degree drop in Mason City, 44. I knew these numbers would be very significant, very interesting to see here, but we do have a little bit of green starting to show back on the map. Does that mean we're going to warm up immediately? Absolutely not. We're still going to be cooling down tonight as the sun sets, but it is a sign that warmer air can be found further to the west. And yes, eventually that will be making its way back to us. We're not talking 60 degrees like we're seeing in Rapid City. We're closer to that Sioux Falls number, maybe even a little warmer. It's coming, folks. I'll tell you in just a moment, but we can certainly blame this cold front right here. It didn't bring us the rain. It's bringing our friends towards the east, but it did allow for the sunshine to return as well as those cooler temperatures ushering in from the north. So here's that high pressure, keeping it nice and clear, giving us that beautiful sunset tonight. It's kind of a double edged sword. We love the sun. We love the clear skies, but the cold temperatures are certainly back. And as we get into the night, they will steadily fall, just not as as, as far as they've been falling for some of these other cool nights we've experienced, not so much this week, but the previous nights will be dropping right around the freezing point, still in the 30s here. Some of us could drop into the 20s. It's all going to be very dependent on where we are geographically, but we'll be around that 30 degree mark, which again will be kicking off our weekend. Speaking of starting the weekend, I'm going to push time forward here on Sky Tracker 3 past tonight because there is nothing to worry about. We're going to head into Saturday morning, 8 a.m. The sun is up, the winds are calm coming in from the warmer west, and even by lunch hour, it might be a tiny bit breezier, but it's going to be a fantastic day from sun up all the way to sun down as we keep with the clear skies into our Sunday. It's so getting into the mid 50s. That is well above the norm. Sunday, the same can be said with a few more clouds moving in. Loving this weekend forecast especially because of what comes after it. And you'll see that here on the seven day forecast where the weekend is always in view. I'm going to point out this wintry system. I'm calling it that because it does have the potential to bring us a few flakes as we head into our Tuesday morning as temperatures drop near that freezing point. It's all happening prior to the Thanksgiving holiday, which features some chilly temps near 30 degrees. Jess.